Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Side and Friends play The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. The very first game in the series and we probably should have stopped this one because I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> yes, you are. I know, right? Anyway, we're playing this game now and this game has no voice acting so no one can complain about me not having the voice acting on. So take that person who commented on the first Trails of Code Studio video saying that you should turn the voice acting back on. <laughs> take that boss yeah, who's, who's probably Sorry. not watching the videos yeah. anymore. Yeah, so let's get started, you fucking idiot. <laughs> oh, look, a small child. Oh, my God. Do I got it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> just, it's just, it's just, okay, I'll do it. Daddy's really white! I even got a message from the girl saying it belonged to the two. I probably should also- uh, I should probably also say if you're gonna do that voice, you should probably also be aware that she's the main character. Good. <laughs> Fucking cat. Still, did, did you take care of good care of the house while I was away? <laughs> oh, of course I did, Daddy. Did you run into any trouble, Daddy? You think I heard funny the bad monsters, did you, Daddy? No, uh, I'm fearless of Phil, yeah. That reminds me, though, uh, I brought you a present. <laughs> really? What kind of present? A better voice actor. <laughs> <laughs> a new fishing ball, sneakers, something for my twin. No, something new. <laughs> no, that crap. <laughs> Maybe, ah! Uh, Give me that crap! Uh, <laughs> Maybe oh. I raised you rubber stuff. Huh? <laughs> Poor little girl supposed to like clothes and, and jewelry. I like pretty clothes, but they just get dirty. And jewelry breaks when you go play outside with it on. Well, anyway, you it, you stupid shit. Let me talk, you big shit. Anyway, Daddy, what's with the big blanket? Is that my present? Oh, you're sharp on. Now, why don't you come have a look? If it's a baby, I'm gonna hit you. Mm. What? Boyfriend? <laughs> oh, <here you> are. <laughs> I had some boy, don't you think? Daddy, did you kidnap him again? <laughs> Daddy, you wanna talk about kidnapping boys? He's I'm not Barton. <laughs> I'm not Professor Barton, uh, shut up! <laughs> Professor Barton, Daddy. Why is my present a boy again? Why? Did, I think the question is, why not? <laughs> Don't make sure that was a wake up. Wake him up? You mean stum? <laughs> he was fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, well, I mean to be fair, the, the counter models are not moving or breathing, so. Oh, me the world tonight! Oh my god. <laughs> Looks kinda of dead if you ask me. I've treated his wounds, so he shouldn't be in a stable condition. Uh -huh. In the meantime, however, we need to let him rest. I'll put him to bed, so if you wouldn't mind heating a kettle of uh, water in the stove, I'd appreciate it. Why have I got to drive the kid? <laughs> oh. 
do it. <laughs> okay, fine, I'll do it like that. <laughs> yeah, you better die. Love you, honey. <laughs> okay. Fuck off. He sure sleeps soundly. And he always looks the same age as me. This is the first time I've ever seen black hair like that too, even if it's blue. He certainly does have a nice head of black hair. Of dark hair, yeah. Blue, I see purple! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need to go to the opticians. And a pair of amber eyes to go with it. <laughs> That's nice and all, but how about you come clean and fess up, daddy? Fess up? Yeah, who is this kid? Anyway, where'd you get him? And why is he hurt? What'd you do? <laughs> why'd you bring him to our house? Is he an Ellie Jip mate child or something? Did you betray mommy? Why have you been picking up these kind of words? No doubt from Shahamaza, I assume. <laughs> yep, that's right. For heaven's sake, that girl's gonna get me in, in trouble one of these days with all her nonsense. Actually, I just met this boy while I was out on business. Mm -hmm. I don't even know his name. Mm -hmm. You mean bracer business? <laughs> I, I don't even know what that means. Neither do I, to be honest. Oh, look! <laughs> huh? What the fuck? He's waking up. Oh. Uh, he won't. Mm -hmm. Wow. His eyes really are the color of amber. Uh, where am I? You're in hell. <gasps> oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> I'll put the pearl over his head. <laughs> there you go! So you're awake now, are you? Welcome to my humble home. You'll be safe here, so just please try to rest. What are you trying to pull? Huh? You must be out of your mind. Why? Why didn't you just leave me there to die? Well, I had thought that. Now, that's a question I don't know how to answer. <laughs> <laughs> Does things just work out that way? Work for you? D don't toy with me! Callous Bright! Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself involved in? Hey! Ah! Ah! My ribs! <laughs> I think you broke my ribs! You yeah, should shot a lot for someone who doesn't. It's, 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 it's supposed to be hurt. Fucking bitch. Why are you laughing? They're just gonna make it take long of your body to heal you. Pussy! You, you just jumped on my ribs! Now you're bedridden for longer. Just Suck who, it up. Just who are you supposed to be? I'm a still. I mean, you're my bitch now. You're so bright, that's me, but you're still my bitch. She's my daughter. Unfortunately. <laughs> okay, so don't you remember me telling you that I have a daughter of your age? Could no. you hit her? <laughs> now that you mention it. Wait a minute, don't try and chase the sub. Ah, oh, God! Ow! Quit yelling! Or, because I take after my dad, I'll beat you up! Uh, alright, alright, already. But you jumping at me like this isn't gonna make me heal any faster either. I don't hear you yelling again, do I? Look, jumping at me like that isn't just, it's just gonna make things worse. Do I hear. Y E L L I N G! What does that spell? Yelling! <sighs> Never mind, just forget it. As a word of advice, it would be wise not to argue with Estelle. <laughs> 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 but I wouldn't set a chance if I'm in your mouth enough. He's right! I would skin it alive if I could. Uh, yeah, I could see that. <laughs> but wait! Are you forgetting something? Huh? Your name! Dumbass! You know, the thing that people call you? 
I told you mine already, so don't you think it'd be unfair and impolite not to tell me yours? Um... It seems like the logical thing to do if you ask me. Trying to hide it now would only serve your detriment. Fine. My name is... You'll never know. Don't, don't just speak to... <laughs> You'll never know. Village in steel? No, different place. This takes place in the western part of Erebonia. Oh, okay. The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. Basically, this entire the first three games take place in like in like the like I said, the west part of Zemur of Zemuria. So basically we're just we're getting to learn more about what um, some people are and somewhat and what some people actually do for a living. What's mentioned in like the Trails of Cold Steel series is, because it's the first game in the series I ever played, is a group known as the Bracers. And that's what um that's what Estelle's father is. He's a bracer. Like sort of like working with a guild. Alright. There's Shahasarasa. Shaharazad. Yeah. Oliver. Now, some of these characters I do know, but others I don't off the top of my head. Like, some of them I know off the top of my head because I've played the game at the very beginning and some I just recognize. But this is like one of um, Falcom's like big flagship series that took them off the ground. Especially because, like, the plot is actually very, very close to how we have things in, like, the real world. Imagine, like, the Steam Revolution, but, like, pushed to, like, the extreme of what this world has. Do and they that's... still have, like, the old, the old world things? Yeah, this is basically what would happen if, like, if, like, Steam technology and all that took, like, advanced to, like, an extreme. Like, right there, like, the event, like, the, like, the things to use augments. But like that, like over here, like it's a bit more different. Over in um, where the story of uh, tra in steel takes place, it's more like they're more advanced in stuff like weaponry and all that. So. All right. But some characters like in this, like we get to see like in later installments of Trails of Cold Steel, like the guy with the big sword. I think his name is Aget. Oh, Aget. Or something like that. It's just spelled A G A T E, which is like Agate. Oh, A G A T. H E G A T. It's time to begin our adventure to become the best bracers. Sexy. Nothing sexy about it. Oh. Here we are. Present day. In our 3D small house. God damn it, I have to do the damn breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I saw brain here. Then shut the curtain. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, she. <laughs> mm, I slept like a rock. Huh? Mm, that must be his dad's turn to cook this morning. I wonder if that means Josh is still a bit. <laughs> Guess that's a no. <laughs> well, I guess I'd better get myself ready to eat too. Stop that racket! No. Stop 
Sorry. <laughs> no. We're making money up there, boy. Leave me alone, I'll do what I want. Yeah. <laughs> Stop that racket. <laughs> nice, Gasha. Oh, good morning, Estelle. I I hope I didn't wake you. Nah, I was already up when I heard you start to play. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I'm awake, come on. So, even the roosters still have bags under their eyes. Not that I mind. What with the sun, sir? The fierce general, the blue one, summer slumber. What do you mean, woman? We're the same age, and I'm hardly a man. So you just admitted to having a tiny penis? That literally has nothing to do with anything. Do, 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 do you know how wrong you are, Joshua? <laughs> we may be the same age, but I am clearly the only woman of the house. It's because you're the only woman in the house. Shut up! Ow! <laughs> that makes you something like my loyal follower, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, yeah. How fortunate for you. You could at least try and sound a tiny bit sincere. It really is a nice tune, though. Cheerful yet somehow wistful, I guess. Uh, I like your other songs too, the, 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 the first, but this one's my favorite. Cause it doesn't sound a shit, I guess. Uh, what's it called again? Pussy Whippers? The Whereabouts of Light. Uh, uh, that's a try, The Whereabouts of Light. I wish I could play the harmonica like you, Joshua. Say it plays a lot harder than it looks. Compared to what it takes to use a staff, I think the harmonica is much easier. It really just it's really just a matter of concentration. You're probably right. I guess my problem is just that if I don't do something that uses my whole body, I start to feel drowsy. Okay, playing the harmonica is fine and all, but how about getting some exercise too? All your hobbies are sitting around kind of stuff like reading and music, which is fucking lame. No girl's gonna be impressed with just that. I don't know, that sounds like an easy way to impress people. Ow. No one's gonna be impressed by it! Oh, excuse me for being so unpopular with the ladies. Although I feel like I should be the one lecturing you about your hobbies. I mean, what kind of boy wants a girl who loves fishing, collecting bugs, and has a fetish for sports shoes? <laughs> That's enough about hobbies for now. <laughs> and for your information, I graduated from bug collecting a long time ago. Really? I'll believe that when I stop finding beetles in the hallway. Hey, Estelle! Joshua! Oh, is it? Oh. Yeah. Morning, Dad! Come on, Dad. Is breakfast ready? It's ready and waiting. Estelle, yours is extra burnt, just the way you like it. When I get down there, I'm gonna kick your ass. I'll kick yours first. I'll <laughs> kick yours first. Yours first. <laughs> Daddy, before it gets cold. I'll kill you. I'm on my way. <laughs> I stole the gold, Dad. Boy, am I stuffed. Are you eating or inhaling the stealth? <laughs> like they will say, kids who eat and sleep blah, 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 blah. Which is unfortunately what you do. Well, let's make sure you get up to eat, but don't forget to pour that energy into your work, too. I can't believe you ate that. It was all burnt for you, Estelle. That reminds me, you two are finishing up your training at the guild today, aren't you? That's right. It will be a review of everything you've learned up to this point. And once we're finished, we'll be bracers just like you, Dad. Why'd you say that with medicine? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know. No, I that don't. means I'm not going to let you treat me like a kid anymore, either. You still lack understanding, Estelle. You can only become a junior bracer in the beginning, or in other words, a trainee. If you want to be treated like an adult, then you should work extra hard for your training to become a full-fledged bracer. Well, I'm not afraid of a little hard work. Clean Just... the house. <laughs> oh. You clean- <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> You fucking asshole! 
Just shoot it! Just shoot it! See! Well, you locked it! At least that's how they will be long for past year two! Why was I raised in this family? <laughs> <laughs> I think we're out of the blood. Good. <laughs> There's a spirit. Let's see what you made it, shall we? Oh uh, yes. Let's stop. Let's not start a rivalry here, you two. We've always been rivals. This is still... a fucking vendetta. <laughs> and Estelle, keep your focus on the task at hand. We have a test later on today. Remember. Huh? What the fuck? Wait, what test? I was too busy being on my dad. <laughs> Please tell me you didn't forget about the test, Estelle. You know, the one that checks whether or not we, we've we've mastered the skills we've been learning and training. Don't you remember Sha Shahara, Shahara saying that if we failed, we'd be stuck with a ton of extra homework? Crap. Totally forgot, dude. Now that you mention it, I guess I kind of remember her saying something like that. That's why I don't show up about it somehow or other. Star emoji! I honestly don't know how you survived this long, Estelle. Your brain is like a si sieve. Play my dad, he's the one who knocks me up in the head. Papa is dead. <laughs> <laughs> how could any job I end up with such a careless, over optimistic personality? <laughs> You're the one that raised me, so I definitely got it from you! I swear the two of you act so much alike, but whatever. We should probably head over to the guild soon, Estelle. Shahara's gonna be, gonna be there, gonna be waiting for us there for us. Sounds like a plan! You know how crazy scary she gets when someone keeps her waiting. Bye, Dad. Oh, before I forget, it's my turn to cook dinner tonight. Is there anything in particular you'd like to eat, Dad? <laughs> Ava quests. Mm, something I'd like to eat, huh? How about Rulon style scallop fish and a balsamic vinegar sauce? What the fuck is that? I fancy okay. a little more than Estelle's cooking skills can handle. Aw, oh, stomachs. You're right, I just wanted to see what kind of reaction I could get. <laughs> I'll just have to wait for the usual fried fish and omelette. No need to buy for anything fancy, but do try to make something edible. How rude! But I can actually say he's wrong. Actually, I do have one favor to ask before you head out. I'd like you to pick me up a copy of the liberal news from the general goods store. It's a barrel. Yeah, it says it's on like liberal. <laughs> Dad, you still can't pronounce words and you're in your 50s. I'm not 50, I'm 42! <laughs> Close enough! This is supposed to be getting the latest edition in today. Got it! One copy of the Lib Liberal News from the General Good Star. No, hey. don't hit me! Give me your money! If there's any money left over, you can have it as your allowance, just as long as done. <laughs> Thanks, oh, Daddy! Uh, that means no wasteful spending. I Thanks, Dad! Okay, we're heading out now. See you later, Dad. Work hard and give Shasara hard by regards. Oh, Let's go, spell. bitch! What? <laughs> he does a, a flop from across the room. I can't even do it, you're very lucky.